Shalom, Yashra'la, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chakrash, the Barnes, the Apostles, and others, a great millstone, who rule and who tells this truth. In salutations, all the Akim, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 21, verse 1. My son, as thou sinned, do so no more, but ask. Pardon for thy former sins. Flee from sin as from the face of a serpent, for if thou comest too near it, it will bite thee. The teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion, slaying the souls of men. All right, because all the wages of sin is death, man. You see? Verse 3, all iniquity is as a two-edged sword, the wounds whereof cannot be healed. All right, because you got to pay for those sins, those those things you've committed. All right, you're going to be held accountable, man. And, and you're going to pay with it, you know, you know, by dying, man, because all the wages of sin is death. You see? So once you acknowledge your sins, all right, do them no more. All right? You got to fight the flesh and put it under subjection. You see? Yeah. And you got to seek the Lord too because, um, uh, hey, this this time is running out. This, this grace period is running out. And you won't be able to find the answers. You won't be able to uh, learn and, and find understanding of the Lord. You see? You can't take this time for granted. All right, like the like those in the world, they they turn to the Lord when they're in a bad situation. No oh, man, you gotta understand what you're a part of. You gotta understand what you've come across. All right, this is the jackpot here. That's not given to many, but few. You know, chosen few to get this true understanding. So you gotta put the Lord first. You gotta seek Him, but. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 5, verse 1. Set thy heart upon thy goods, and say not, I have enough for my life. For not thine own mind and thy strength, or follow not thine own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. You know, because the heart is deceitful above all things. Who could know it? You know, like Jeremiah says. Verse 3. And say not, who shall control me for my works? For the Lord will... Surely avenge thy pride. Say not, I have sinned, and what harm hath happened unto me? For the Lord is long suffering; He will in no wise let thee go. Right? You can't be tempting the Lord, man. All right. Like again, the Lord He sees everything we do, everything. All right, and He knows. So you can't send the Lord, man. You, you'll pay for that. Concerning concerning propitiation, you know, the atonement. But right? be be not fe uh, be not without fear to add sin to sin. All right, because the Lord's that uh, that perfect sacrifice. Now that we've been woken up to the truth, we know and understand the Lord. All right, we know what we're supposed to be doing. We can't take that for granted and just sin willfully. All right, and just keep adding uh, these, you know, things that the Lord hates onto our plate. Nah, man, we want our transgressions blotted out. We don't want to keep adding on to them. You see, verse six, and say not His mercy is great; He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. For mercy and wrath come from Him, and His indignation, His righteous judgment. Resteth upon sinners, you know. So the Lord, He's going to give everyone a reward, whether it's righteous or if it's for the wicked. You see? So, so verse 7, Make no tearing to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. 
you see so when, when you hear of this you gotta you gotta drop everything and follow after the Lord So yeah, we gotta seek him while he can be found. This is Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. You know, the Lord has his men out in the highways and byways, you see. The Lord is making himself known through his men. Alright? Who have a heart according, uh, who are the pastors according to his heart. You see, bringing out the word. Precept upon precept, giving you the breakdowns and the history, all right? Giving you the truth. Soon we're not going to be able to be on these highways and byways or online. They're going to cancel all that. You're going to shut it all down. Then all hell's going to break loose. And you're not going to, you know, Jake, two thirds are going to be in a bad case. This is verse 7. So this is the warning, man, you know, for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians, and you speckled birds to get right with the Lord, man. This is verse 7, Isaiah 55 and 7. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him into our power for he will abundantly pardon. Right. So again, the children of Israel, you know, because you're acting like the wicked. So you gotta forsake that way. Stop trying to be like these heathens, man. It's a death style that they live. Right, this is First Samuel twelve and twenty, and Samuel said unto the people, Fear not, ye have done all this wickedness, yet turn not aside from following the Lord, but serve the Lord with all your heart. You see? So we gotta turn to the Lord and follow after him. He's given us these laws, these statutes and the commandments that we must live by and keep. You know, this is, this law is going to, you know, it's here forever, man. You know, and those that turn back to the Lord, you know, uh, in truth and in spirit, sincerely seeking after the Lord and seeking forgiveness, acknowledging your sins, yeah, the Lord is going to have mercy on you, man. All right. Calling upon Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. All right, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, you know, because this isn't for everybody. But with that, I hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting. And again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakrash, the bars, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and who taught us this truth. And salutations to all the Akim, pushing us word in truth and in sincerity with charity. Shalom, wa ababam.